Hello, YouTubers. This is Tia from Musings of a Mystic, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. Today's question, or whatever, <laughs> is what's coming towards you December 2019, the last month of 2019. What is coming towards you? Before I get into the reading, I'm going to say... Thank you guys who bought personal ratings from me. I really appreciate that. Right now, I'm all caught up on those. Um, if you need a personal reading that only resonates with you, my information is below. Any way to contact me or pop over to my shop or whatever is down there in the description box below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe if the channel resonates with you. And yes, I said resonate. I don't say resignate. Thank you very much. Anyway, um, yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tip, donate, and comment. Otherwise, we're going to get started. One, two, and three. The first deck is the good tarot, I believe. If you want to know what decks I use, the information for that is down there. Oh, if you need more time, just rewind the video about 30 or 40 seconds and um, pause it and you can pick your deck. Otherwise, deck number one. What is coming towards you in the month of December 2019? What is coming toward the Seeker in December 2019? What is coming toward the Seeker December 2019? What is coming to the Seeker? December 2019. What is coming to the Seeker? December 2019. What is coming to the Seeker? December 2019. December 2019. One. Oops. My deck is upside down, and that is why all of my cards are upside down. Hmm. Looks like some kind of temptation. Some kind of secret. Somebody might be... Alright, so here's what I got. Seven of Air, Three of Earth, and the Messenger of Earth. And you also got the Temptation card, which is the Devil card, which was at the bottom of the deck. Now I'm going to try and make these readings quick um, this time, because right now I'm a little bit tired, and I need to get to bed so I can go to work tomorrow. But anyway, I'm seeing people wearing masks here on the Temptation card. The Lady on the Apple is wearing a mask. On the Seven of Air, the lady is wearing a mask. On the Three of Earth, this lady is wearing a mask. And this lady has her back turned to all of it. So you guys might actually have somebody behind you, maybe at work, um, doing something toxic, something that is not going to help you along in your life. Um, you may also have somebody watching you um, while your back is turned. They might be a little bit obsessed with you with the devil card here and the seven of air it's like they're watching very very secretly very covertly um and it could be like they're doing it at work let me do this real quick i want to clarify the temptation card and the seven of air so please clarify the temptation card Moon, Magician, Emperor. So you might have... Clarify the Seven of Air, please. So 
somebody might be watching your relationship and it's like you're you're fighting for your relationship you're kind of fighting to stay in this relationship or somebody is fighting to stay in a relationship with you and if it's not it could just apply it to your situation this could be a work relationship a friendship a family relationship and somebody is like watching it they might be a little bit jealous of it um and they're trying to see if it's going to work out between you and this person or job or family member or whatever because somebody here is like in the background like watching and waiting to see kind of how they can slip in i guess um what does this person that's watching want from the seeker person that's watching the seeker want from the seeker there was it three of pentacles again they might actually just want to build something with you realize a dream that they've had interestingly when i said dream the keeper of dreams came out um so this person that's kind of watching you sees you kind of as their star and they want to work something out with you it might be somebody that you have discarded now i don't like I'm not sure why it's a discarded, but that, that came out. It's like discarded or cut ties with. And it's like they haven't let go of you. They still kind of are holding on to this idea that things can work and work out and you guys can find your happiness together and build a relationship or some kind of solid foundation. It could be a business partnership. I kind of feel like this is a little bit closer than business, though. I, f I feel like... Um, it might be somebody you met at work. This person is like wildly obsessed with you. Maybe I shouldn't say wildly, but this person is like watching you and been watching you since you cut them off or cut them out of your life. And they kind of want to come back in and take their place where they were before. This person may also want to control you because the devil card is here with the emperor, which is kind of like toxic control. So if you return to this person, they'll probably come in with the people in the background won't shut up they'll probably come in with this like barely barely restrained desire to control what's going on in the relationship and they'll want to pull all the strings and have all the control and definitely don't let that happen because we want you to get what you want out of your life so that's kind of what i'm seeing for you guys you guys might be having somebody who wants to seduce you um they might want to spin all these illusions interestingly i saw the um the seven of cups the moon card as well as the high priestess you might be having some kind of um telepathic connection with this person or a spiritual connection with this person you might feel their energy and they are feeling your energy and they're kind of wanting to slither back into your life um honestly they don't seem like a very healthy person to be around because they have the magician with the moon card and the emperor clarifying the devil which is like somebody who's probably massively toxic or massively obsessed. All of that spells out somebody who's going to be a control freak because they want to get their hands on you and keep their hands on you. And the way that they're going to do that is going to try, they're going to try and control every single last thing you do. So this kind of turned more into a, like, uh, a person from your past, like watching. And I don't really see them coming forward. I just kind of see them watching. So you may also be being watched by uh, a job. Or you may also be being watched by your current employer. Um, so like if you applied and they're like, oh, let's let us see your Facebook feed, you know, on the application, right? They might be looking at your Facebook feed. So be careful what you post. They're looking to see if you have any toxicity or anything that might, you know, damage the company's reputation. But in the end, um, I just see somebody watching. 
and interestingly, it's or you might be watching someone, and then you might be dealing with an addiction to someone too. So just take how it resonates with you. I'm oddly not getting uh, any kind of like situation or anything, but I'm seeing is that you're being watched and you need to be mindful of what what's going on around you, what you're saying, what you're doing, and protecting yourself to make sure that you know you don't end up in a place you don't want to be. So I hope that um, made some kind of sense to somebody out there because weird it's not like a, a normal reading for me what i'm getting is this odd oh you're being watched in december not like a, oh you know i see a job coming i just see somebody watching you or you watching someone maybe overindulging a little bit when the holidays are coming through so deck number two what is coming toward you guys december 2019 Oh, let's go to see her December 2019. Coming toward the Seeker. December 2019. All these cards are just flying out all over the place. But my hands are so small and they're so big that I don't normally take them. Unless I'm told to take them by my spirit guide. So what is coming toward the Seeker? Um December. Oh my god. Oh, so irritating. What is coming toward the seeker? December 2019. What is coming toward the seeker? December 2019. Last time. What is coming toward the seeker? December. Crown chakra, <laughs> solar plexus, a chakra, heart ache and loss. The disruption card. Why was that upside down on my deck? I don't know. Patience. So it looks like your foundation was that at the bottom? No, this at the bottom. It looks like your foundation is actually being your resolve and your foundation are being rocked and tried. Because you've got the tower card in the center of everything, and you've got the heartache and loss card as well. Um, and the firm foundation card is reversed. In this deck, it's firm foundation, but in the original Rider Weight Tarot deck, it is the Four of Pentacles. So it's like you might be being forced to let something go. Like a person, a relationship, a job. And it, like, really breaks your heart to let it go. So I kind of feel like it's a person that you're letting go of or a relationship, whether it be family, friendship, or um, something like that. It's like something in your life you're being forced to let go of, and it's really causing some kind of heartache and pain here. Okay. Um, but, but you're being asked to be patient. It's like, oh, you know, while your world is coming apart, you gotta be patient. And I know it's hard to do because it's very, very, when, when things are falling apart, it's hard to be like, oh, you know, I'll just sit and wait it out. Let me clarify the tower card. Oh, relationship. Somebody might be becoming single. King of Cups at the bottom with the Queen here. So it's like somebody here kind of going from being a pair to being single. And that kind of throws you into this place where you just don't know what the hell to do. And it's interesting because it's around Christmas time for m many parts of the world. Um, and even this card down here says patience and planning. So you guys will have to be very patient with yourself and make good decisions because some of you may be having difficult changes at work, but what it feels like mostly is like different difficult changes with, within close relationships um, that require patience. And there's going to be some grieving 
going on. Not necessarily that somebody is going to die, but this card to me also indicates grieving. Like unable to sleep, very sad and crying, especially with this card here. So it's like, this is a month that's going to be very difficult for many of you. And just take it how it resonates with you. Some of you aren't going to, this is not going to resonate with you. And this is one of those piles that I'm like, I'm glad if it doesn't, because this looks hard. It looks like a broken relationship, a broken friendship, um, a child or something, leaving home, or having a big blowout fight with somebody that ends up in the relationship being severely damaged. And you're like, I'm not sure where to turn or what to do. So that's kind of what I'm seeing for you guys. Um... I actually like this patience card because it's like if you just are patient here, seeds that you've sown in the past, even if they don't seem like it right now, will grow to the point where you can actually harvest what you've sown. Now, if you sown awesome things, then, you know, awesome things will come to you. It just kind of feels like you guys have sown some awesome things in the past that you're not even thinking about right now because you're in so much pain. And you're like, you know when will this pain end and you're not realizing that your garden is is growing but just be patient tend to your garden even if it looks like the house is burning down tend to the garden so that you don't lose the house and the garden if that makes sense but yeah definitely looks difficult um this is a time to follow your gut and your good spiritual instincts so like if you've got good instincts and you follow your hunches definitely do what's best for you obviously don't do anything that's gonna hurt you but um from what i'm getting for these two chakra cards is to like follow your gut instincts and your um your good spiritual instincts like if you get a, if, you're, if you're a psychic person or you just have good ideas follow those Definitely do what's best for you. I'm not telling you guys to go out there and get hurt or anything, but, you know, if it's a good idea and you have evidence that it's going to work out for you, do what's best for you. Obviously, this is a general reading on YouTube, so, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest, but patience will help you get through this difficult tower moment. Tower moments are never pleasant, but it's like they're necessary for growth. <laughs> interesting necessary for growth this might be a month that's necessary for you to advance as a soul even if it feels like it sucks as a person and uh, as a soul and a bot and a human body you know what i mean it sucks like to feel these things but anyway i'm gonna stop rambling group two Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tip, donate, and comment. And if you need a personal reading, my information is down there. See you guys in the next video. Ta -ta. It's deck number three. What is coming towards you guys? December 2019. It's coming to What is coming toward the Seeker? December 2019. Oh, okay. Well, odd shuffle. Odd. It's odd. What is coming toward the Seeker? Plug up my computer. Sorry, guys. All right. Ooh, look at you. Ooh, look at you. Justice. Nine of water and unity. Ten of fire. It looks like.
lucky you guys actually have a positive pile here. Um, if there was something that was unjustly causing you stress, this reads, too much work, accept help from others, life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. If there was something that was causing you stress and causing you issues like, like overwhelm and stuff like that, it's like, um, if you were working very, very hard for something, and that's what was causing stress and it was temporary, I'm seeing that you kind of get what you want. You get, you meet your, you reach your goal. And you don't just reach it like, bleh. You don't reach it by, you know, cutting corners. It's like you guys actually did, did it the accurate way. You did it the right way. And you got... You reach your goal and it's like uh, um, done in a legal way or it's done in a way that is um, corporate, something that's very solid, traditional. Traditional is the word I'm looking for. Unity, Archangel, Sandal Fun or Phone. Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Nine, your wish comes true, concerns fade away, a love of life. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs with the justice card. So it's like you put in work for something. And you did you went through it doing doing the work. You got stressed out and overwhelmed, but you kept going. And then you end up reaping what you've sown. You reap what you have sown, and it's like you guys actually worked pretty hard for it, so you reap the um, the seeds of working hard. Now, some of you may be dealing with a court case, because you do have the Justice card and the Unity card here together, and that could indicate like a judge, uh, a lawyer, something that's corporate. You might be going through like um, class action lawsuits. Speaking of which, you guys, if you go to the top class action lawsuits or something like that dot org you just look it up in google um they do actually have some class action lawsuits that are going on but anyway that's a legit place to go to see if you're a part of any of that that's neither really here nor there but it's like if you were going through a court case a divorce or whatever that um Especially if it was a court case that was causing you stress, that put a strain on your your finances. What I'm seeing here is y it it goes in your favor, and you see all this treasure down here at the bottom. It's like you have you get a significant amount um, that can actually help you change your life. Now, if you're not going through a court case, you don't have any legal issues going on right now. I see you kind of reaping what is what you sow, what you've sown. You were reaping. And it's like the... It's, um... What is the word? It's like correlating or something like that. Cor correlating. Where you did this much work, so you get this much, you know, benefit. Or whatever. So for you guys, that's, that's pretty positive. Whatever was stressing you out before... It's kind of not stressing you. Well, it, it comes to an end. This is a 10, too. So it, this cycle comes to an end. And the, the just are judged, judged justly. And the ones who are not just are judged accordingly. So, yeah. You may also find yourself in church. Um, it is Christmas time. Christmas is coming up. Um, other Also, other holidays are coming up as well and as you can see on this card you see all these different emblems you see the cross star of david the ankh there's a, a yin, and yang, yin and yang symbol back there i'm not 100 percent sure i think that's the i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna try and butcher that other symbols and emblems are there and it's like just that time of year where we're all celebrating certain things kwanzaa hanukkah christmas you know all that stuff yule and this just also seems like a time of celebration but it's like a lot of religious celebrations 
You may find yourself at parties, which, you know, makes a lot of sense because, like I said, this is the time for parties, you know. And I think that's it. It's like you get what you want, especially if you're a court, if you're going into a court case, you've been going through a court case. It's like it gets ruled in your favor. And yes, you reap the benefit down here, but you also, you're not going to get more than what is due you. You get what is due to you. There we go. It's like all that talking to say that. You get what is due to you. And the stress kind of lifts a little bit. And you get what you want, but you also get what is due to you. So if you're do good things, you get good things. If you're not do good things, you get what you deserve. So there's that. Parties, court cases, getting what you want, stress no longer being um, as as stressful <laughs> stress lift lifting so i hope that is a positive message for you guys thank you for watching i'm going to go ahead and end this i've been working for about 12 hours today and then i came home and did a couple readings so i'm all cut up caught up on readings if you guys want um a personal reading my information is down below there if you want to know what what cards i'm using if you want to pop over to my shop to see what i've got in there all of that is down there. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tip, donate, and comment. All those things help me stay motivated to make you guys more videos in the future. And if you... Looks like you're just staring at my chest. I'm like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to contact me, all of that is down there. I'm going to stop rambling now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.